Okay, so we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and we're going to talk about getting a video from your computer to YouTube into My Big Campus and then showing it on the, in the district installation of My Big Campus. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is most screen capture programs now have a publish to YouTube setting, which includes Captivate. So let's say that I want to publish to YouTube. Uh, usually I can do this without even going to my account. So first of all, I have to have an account in YouTube. And you can use your, your Gmail login for this now. So if you're logged into Gmail, just go straight to YouTube. And you'll already be logged in. Okay, so essentially what we have here is uh, the title uh, ends up being the, the um, original file title from the file title from whatever you are publishing in. Okay, so we're going to add a description. How to use Moodle grading options in a single assignment. And we're going to specify the version because um, one thing about web applications is they change for every version. So we're going to specify the version there. Okay, so tags we're going to do Moodle 2.2 grading okay so we're gonna make this public and we're gonna click upload okay so what we're doing now is uh, basically uh, it's gonna be quite a long wait uh, so essentially what happens is the file capture program or the screen capture program you're using or your video program whatever you're using is going to compress the video and and then upload it uh, either simultaneously or whatever the program does. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video until that is that process is complete. Okay, so at this point the uh, the, the video has finished um, being created. So basically it's been exported to a format uh, that can be uploaded to YouTube and so now now the program is going ahead and automatically uploading it to the YouTube account. So it's about 10% done here. We're about 15 minutes into the process, so this is not a fast process. So just relax. <laughs> Some things can affect the speed of the process. So the faster, of course, the faster the network you're on, uh, your your network speed is the bottleneck, not the YouTube server speed in this case. So the faster your network speed is, the faster this will be uploaded. Uh, the faster your computer is, that that's going to be the faster their, your uh, your video capture program can create a, a usable format for YouTube. So those two things, you know, just like all work on a computer, the faster your computer, the faster the network, um, the more productive you can be. Uh, and this process is no different. Okay, so at this point we uh, we've uploaded the the um, the assign or I'm sorry the video, um, and it's really quite nice because the uh, the program actually gives you the uh, link, so I can click copy link here. Um, uh, I can also click view on YouTube. Um, I've already signed into YouTube, so let's take a look at my YouTube. Uh, this is inside YouTube, so we're going to go to um, Video Manager. And it's funny on YouTube because your login account, you know, I, I created an account some years ago just to do some, some, some lessons for a class, and I continue to use that account, so it has nothing to do with the actual videos that are on there, which is common on YouTube. But once you sign up, it's impossible to change that account later. Okay, so here we have it. We have this, um, here is the video that I just uploaded. Notice that it still continues to process. Um, that processing will take just a few minutes. Um, you can still go to the actual page. Okay, so we go ahead. And what we're going to need is we're going to just need the URL of that video. So, so once I get to the video, I can go ahead and um, I can go ahead and copy that URL. Okay, so now it's time to take it into my big campus. So I've created the video, I put it on YouTube. Now we're going to pull it back into my big campus. So I go to www.mybigcampus.com. Um, and if you're not familiar with my big campus, my big campus is, is to put it simply, it's a it's a whitelisted um, 
website which allows you to watch YouTube videos inside of the district's firewall. So so basically what it is is that the district it can't let you know obviously you can't let students go on YouTube because there's uh, R-rated content or there's inappropriate content on YouTube and you can't control what's on YouTube. So as a solution for this, this the district uses this website My Big Campus so that um, teachers and other educators can pull things off of YouTube and they can be presented inside the school's firewall um, and everything on the, the site should be um, vetted for proper content by a by a school employee. Okay, it's a bit of a trick to log in, so let's go ahead and we uh, we actually put in um, your login would be your in my school district it's called your AD login or your Active Directory login. Uh, what a, you know whatever organization you're working with it may be different. Um, so we can go ahead and okay. So in our case. Uh, SDUSD. Okay, so we go ahead and log into My Big Campus. Now, how we add a YouTube video to My Big Campus is we click on Library in the upper right hand corner. We click Add New YouTube Video. Okay, now I paste in, remember that I was on, this is the uh, URL for my uh, notice, and now we can actually watch the video. So, uh, this is my URL for the video. Okay, so I copy it and I paste it into this form. I'm going to go ahead and close the, uh, the tab so that uh, I don't have to listen to the video again. <laughs> okay, so what it, my big campus does is it just it, it basically parses the, uh, the YouTube page. It pulls in over it pulls over the appropriate information and then we go ahead and we add in um, we basically add in uh, the actual information. So let's say that we're making a, you know, in this case, I think the appropriate grade levels would be 7 to 12. Uh, so we go ahead and click Add. Okay, and it gives us a preview here. Now the biggest problem, or the biggest, uh, uh, not problem, but the biggest error people make when using My Big Campus is they take this URL that's shown to them right now. Okay, so if we use, if we were to take this www.mybigcampus.com URL and use it in Moodle, the students would be presented with a login prompt, <clears throat> which they could do. They could log in, but it would be horribly inefficient. So what we're going to do is we're, instead of using this URL, we're going to go to the actual server inside of our network. Okay, so, so now we've created the video, we've uploaded to YouTube, or sorry, we've created the video, we've uploaded it to YouTube, we've added the, the YouTube video to My Big Campus, and now we're going to go get the link uh, from the My Big Campus district server. So let's go, we go to MBC, like NBC, but M as in Mary, MBC dot, in our case it's Sandy.net. Okay, so now what's going to happen is it's, it's basically we're now on the 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 My Big Campus server inside of our network. Okay, so now we just have to find the video. Okay, and we do that with the search. So we basically know what the title is, so we can go ahead and search on that title. Okay, and we know it was called Grading Options was part of the title. Okay, so here it is. So basically it's been added into My Big Campus, and here is the URL. Okay, so this is the URL that we want right here. So we found the video. We copy the URL. Okay, now let's go ahead and add it into Moodle. So we have a couple of options on adding it into Moodle, of course. As usual, we have a couple of options. So we could add it as a resource. Okay, so we can, let's say I want to add this as a resource here. So I'd uh, pull, it, pull this down. I'd say it's a URL. Okay, um, and we could call it, whoops, call it Moodle Assignment Grading Options. And 
and so the video is showing the options for grading for setting up grading in Moodle 2.2 okay then we do an external link we just paste our link in and I just control V the link in okay now these show advanced we just want to put automatic okay so it's going to do it automatically we can also send parameters over but that's also advanced so we're going to go ahead and uh, save and display okay so we're going to go ahead it says this is the oops I'm going to need to go back in and of course correct my spelling here but but let's say that we're in our course it's going to uh, show us this link as a resource okay let me go ahead and correct my spelling just because it's bothering me uh, save and return to course so okay so we have the the link here as a resource so I can go ahead and click it taking a bit a little while to open but that's exactly how you do it so you, the student would just click on it like this uh, we can also go ahead and add um, we could add this as a link inside of the um, we could add this as a link inside of a lesson so let's take an example of a lesson so I actually created this video to do a, do a tutorial for authoring in Moodle so let's take that example um, so basically we have this is an unfinished lesson so okay so let's say that we want to make this our link we'd go ahead and highlight the text we would paste in our link uh, and then our target I like to do a new window okay and we go ahead and click and uh, we can control the, the pop-up also if we really wanted to um, we can go insert okay so that's our link right here this is in my opinion this is the better way to insert links uh, the main reason is, is that you don't um, clutter up your main course page with lots and lots of links uh, by putting the links into the lesson uh, via the um, editor here uh, the links you can put lots and lots of links in without um, without making your course super complicated on the front page okay so that is the round trip there we have uh, so just to review we we went into uh, in this case captivate we uh, uploaded a video to YouTube then we went once it was in YouTube we took it back to mybigcampus.com uh, and we basically imported the YouTube video from, we imported the information about the YouTube video to mybigcampus.com then we went to the internal mybigcampus server which was m as in mary bc dot sandy dot net we found the video we had imported and then we used that link to put in to, to add the video into a Moodle lesson okay good luck